YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect King of Games. And today, we're going to be doing a video of epic proportion. Now, normally I say videos of epic proportion all the time, but I'm being serious. Epic proportion in this video. Why? Because we're going to be doing an entire, that is right, an entire collection showcase. Now, I am surprised that this case could fit 225 pounds of sexiness, but if you guys can see what's inside it, You'd be surprised too. Now, I know I did say entire, allow me to digress a little bit. I'm a bit of a liar, just a little bit. Uh, I actually do have 150,000 more cards. And you guys are like, what, Kelly? Why don't you show that? It's all commons, rares, super rares, ultra rares, secret rares that are not meta relevant. In this, I'm going to be showing you the cards that I use more, more often than less for video updates and then just other cards that I have miscellaneous around. Uh, you know, my house. It's quite a bit of cards and quite a bit of mats, but I'm excited to get you guys into this video. One thing I do want to give a shout out to is my Patreons. Without this, without you guys, seriously, without you guys, videos like this would not be possible. I put that on everything. Uh, a good portion of this stuff um, came over years and years of struggling, years of the grind. And without you guys, man, I wouldn't have this. I probably would have sold it a long time ago. But if you guys want to see more videos like this, go ahead and destroy. It, it, that, that was weird, wasn't it? Go to oh boy! Hit that subscribe button, nigga! Too strong! Alright, I'm just playing. But, um, anyways, did, did I hit you with the combo? C -c combo! Okay, so it's gonna be a little simple. I'm probably gonna have to do this a couple of times, which means you're gonna have jump cuts, but I'm pretty sure you guys are okay with that. Um, we're gonna separate this into the cards that I play, the cards that I don't play, so on and so forth. Also, I actually asked you guys to ask me questions. Wasn't thinking it'd be overwhelming till I actually get to the video. It, it's kind of overwhelming, but pretty sure I should be able to do it. We should actually start off with a couple of things I want to talk about. Um, there might be holes inside of uh, one of these binders or whatever, and that's probably because I have to take out so many cards from these binders, make a deck, and then put it back into the binders. That takes at least an hour, at least, literally, to find all the cards that I need, um, it could take, well, I'm sorry, it doesn't take at least an hour. It could take up to an hour, sometimes even more, depending on if I'm missing the card or not. Um, so you might see holes. It might be somewhere on my couch. And trust me, when I had that video, I think I said my infinites and permanents are probably on my couch. They're probably still in my couch. I don't know where I put them. But um, let's get to starting talking about what I got. Should I start talking about the stuff that I have for sale first? Or should I just talk about Bert? Talk about stuff you have for sale first. For sure. Um, so... People do know me as being a guy to sell cards. Do I sell cards anymore? Not really, to be honest with you guys. I'd rather trade for my wants or whatever and get my wants, but if somebody wants to buy, I'm not gonna say, hey, no, this card isn't for sale. So before we get into this video, another thing I wanna talk about, none of these cards pass. These two binders in the box I'm gonna show you are for sale. Um, if you guys are interested, I guess, I'm just gonna skim through it. Yes, this is still the for sale binder. It has quite a few holes because normally I do put stuff on TCG Player or whatever. Uh, and it sells quite often, but this is the current state of the binder. And if you guys want to see more binder updates, I mean, all you got to do is ask, just comment down below. Hey, Cali Effect, we want to see more binder updates. Only reason why we stopped is because, um, what, viewership, right? Viewership and likes? Mm -hmm. uh, that's literally a reason why a lot of my cards, like, a lot of my videos will stop is viewership or likes. Sometimes I do get lazy, but it's very far and few between. So that's basically, oh, this is actually mine. I got it from a store, and I just never put it in. And then this is the other for sale binder. Altergeist Core, Spellbook Core. Just to let y'all know, no, I didn't take none of this stuff and put it in my stuff. All this stuff is still very much for sale. My thumb is messed up, so I gotta hold it different. <laughs> my thumb feel funny. My thumb feel real funny. <laughs> so yeah, all that's still there. Let's go into a question really quick. That's why we do need that person asking the question. Mage of Ancient says, what's your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set? And what's your favorite card from that set? Uh, ooh, I like Legacy of Darkness. This is my, actually my, this isn't for sale. Just go, go back over. This isn't for sale. Um, this is like the cards that I feel will go up in price. But um, Legacy of Darkness or Feral Servant. And then my favorite cards from that set would be Jinzo and Marauding Captain. I, 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 it's really hard to say what's my favorite. But I think those two are in there. Invasion of Cast with Demok is pretty good, or BLS. Um, I like the older sets, I will give you that. Uh, I wanna say the set that I had the most success with is, where's the set that I had the most success with, Bird? Do you remember? Uh, the one with Luster Pendulum in it. That's all I can remember. 
and at the Arrow Mages, Lester Pendulum. Somebody will comment down below in the comment section. Who can only affect is this set? Uh, core. Um, core is... I don't know. I'm really not even going to try. But again, these are all cards that I feel that they'll go up in price eventually. Um, as you can see, this is why when a card does go up in price, I am not scared because your boy comes prepared. So yeah, we got quite a few of all of those cards. Uh, if you guys ever wanted uh, advice from me about cards that'll go up in price, I mean, like, look of it. Literally, every single one of these cards will go up in price, and all the cards that you guys have seen me have multiples of have one up in price, we're in that binder. I think I have one more for sale binder I want to show you guys. Can I mess this up and we'll clean it up later? Yeah. Uh, I guess we don't have a choice, do we? Uh, this is my other for sale binder. Those two binders, nothing in there is for sale, but the first pink one, the orange one, and this one is all stuff for sell or trade i do have once i do have once i'm looking for more infinite impermanences <laughs> i'm looking for quite a few cards so feel free to message me a lot of it is really obscure rare stuff um uh, mr hoffy says what is your single most valuable card and what is your single most favorite card fuck that's a good question my single most valuable card i don't know I really don't. Uh, my favorite card, like, in this entire set. Man, I wish I had answers to your questions. I just don't think I have an answer to your question. Neither of them. Um, I do think that they're really good questions. And I, to be honest with you guys, even before I did this video, I skimmed over everybody's question. This is actually, we'll go to the Spellgrounds. This is actually uh, the, first, the test run of the Great Spellground. I, like, tried to come up with an answer. That one, I just don't have an answer to. I don't know what's the most expensive card. I think you, if you just go on TCG Player, you can like type in Yu-Gi-Oh's expensive cards. Obviously, none of the prize cards I have. Oh, my Minerva, but I can't find it. <laughs> maybe it's in the couch. Ah, uh, maybe it's in the couch. You guys think I'm fucking playing? I'm serious. It's in the couch. Um, so this is a Midnight Blue Spellground. I'm not gonna unfold. I'm not gonna make it easy. This is Scarlet. Uh, I don't think anybody has said a single thing though. But I change spellgrounds like you change clothes. Like in my videos, well, I hope you guys change clothes more than I change my spellgrounds. <laughs> um, this is a mat I bought off of somebody on uh, on Facebook, and I just never got around to playing it. I actually really like it because it has the Ho Oh Lugi. I don't even know who this is made by. Oh, it's made by Ophidian, I guess. But yeah, I, I really like this mat, so I picked it up. I love the color too. Like sometimes I do like buy stuff on a whim. That was one of them, and I never played it. This was my very first mat. And I used it for quite some time. I took it to Worlds. It's not a spell ground. It's like a cloth. It's uh, it's pretty beat. <laughs> it's yeah, <laughs> one of those. Um, freak. I forget the what the name of this mat is. I forget the name of this mat. Uh, I used to know the name of that mat. This is Autumn 2014. I used to know the name of this mat. This is actually really this is a good friend of mine's mat. This is. I used to know the name of that map. This is the OG Halloween bad boy. I remember I got a story for y'all, bro. We go. All right. Um, sorry for the. This, I mean, you guys should already expect it. We bought so many copies of this Hollow Spellground when they first came out from Kalsa. I thought we were gonna get in trouble. This is the first Spellground buyout I participated in. Uh, this one was sold out in seven minutes. We made a stupid amount of money on that. This is Scarlet. Uh, I love this spell ground, even though it's all messed up. I got it from a friend of mine named Nathan. Uh, actually, I got it from a good friend of mine named Matt, who got it from Nathan. I've been wanting that spell ground for forever. He sold it for dirt cheap, too. Um, this is my breast cancer awareness mat. It's called, it's a lilac mat. I like it. It's pretty awesome. Um, this is Fern. The other one is actually a limited edition Fern, this green one. Now that I remember. This is a limited edition Fern. And then this is just regular Fern. What's the difference? Uh, limited edition has a orange run on it an orange run with a red trim this one has a green run with a purple run on the other side so uh i don't know how much more that one is but i guess it is this is steel yes we're still going through spell grounds this is onyx this is the second or third year uh hollowed spell ground we didn't buy these out i think that was probably the old, one of the only actually that was the only spell ground that we invested into we just really like the map. Uh, this is one of those. <laughs> and now I actually still have a car, quite a few meta mats. The reason why you guys don't see me with meta mats, um, me, 
without getting political. I am no longer sponsored by MetaMath. So, uh, this is... I think this is the one I got the name. Is it the one I got the name? I got the name quite a few of them. I don't remember the name of this one. I don't know if I named it. I don't remember the name of it. Um, this is the Dragon Ball Z one. I wanted to give it away to somebody that, you know, that liked Dragon Ball Z, but... You know, or Dragon Ball Super, but it is. This is the one I used to use. I don't like the color. And... I, I don't know. It, it's an okay mat. I just I just don't like it anymore as much as I used to. Ooh, this is one of my favorite ones. This is the Gengar mat. This is still one of my favorites to this day. This one's awesome. I love that one. And you know, Meta Mats is still a great company. If you guys uh, catch yourself ordering something from them, you know, go ahead and do that. But you know, <laughs> this is actually one of the first mats I had custom made. This is only one in the world. It is a hot, Dark Ruler Hades Arc Lord Christia the Cali Effect mat. Uh, hand drawn, really cool. This one is like, I forgot the name of this, but it's another meta mat. <laughs> that was, I think, the first meta mat I got. This is the one I know I named. I call it the Way of the Warrior. And to be real with you guys, I just started playing Overwatch. Hanamura was one of my favorite maps. And um, I was being really silly with them. I was like, just name it the Way of the Warrior. And you know, I, I was just fucking around. And he was like, sure, let's go with that. I was like, no, 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 stop, please, no way. And he named it that. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, it is still kind of, it's kind of cool now that you look back at it. This is the way of the warrior. This is a uh, pink, oh no, I remember where I got it from too. It wasn't off of Overwatch. It was uh, it was from Futurama. No, you remember when Leela tried to be a, a boxer or whatever? And he was like, the old guy was like, I would, I would fight you, but you're a woman. So I win. You want to fight again? Ha! I win again. It was hilarious. <laughs> One of the best parts. Um, I have two copies of the winter 2014 and 2013 whatever spell ground. And I have plenty of mats. We're not going to go over the mats. We are not going to go over the mats. Because while this only looks like a few, we're, I have way more than that. Um, I have a backpack full of sleeves. You know, just reach in there, pull out a pack of sleeves if I needed it. Pull out more sleeves. Uh, Ultimate Guard. Uh, I don't really use these as much because I really like the Dragon Shield sleeves. But this is like a, just a bag of sleeves that I send in. Like just old sleeves, obviously. Uh, I really need to empty out one of these backpacks if I start going back to locals. Um, now I guess we can start talking about the other stuff. Question time. Oh, question time. Question time. Question, question, question time. Question time. What does Pot of Greed do? This is what Genesis 007 AUT asks. And does MSC negate? Pot of Greed states consume two cards from your main deck to your opening pool. And if you do, your opponent loses the game. MST negates, but only in a typo. Um, <laughs> so these are actually the cards that I, will, that I have working on Battle of the Gods, guys. So um, these are outside of the binder. We have to build in. We're still working on it because we want it to be good. Um, we got the three ulti bears. Everything is max rarity in here because Fire Fist was one of my favorite archetypes if that ever comes up to be a question. Um, these I had to get after the Dragon Ruler for, or after Fire Fist died down because, uh, yeah, they were insanely expensive. But I definitely got them before Zodiac. So that was the thing. And then it's going to be playing against Bujin. Uh, ulti, Yamato's, all that other stuff. Like I said, I like to get everything. I don't have six ultimate rare tankies. That would be insane. Um, I like to get everything. Uh, I like to get everything in high rarity. I know there's so many like, it's just skipping, but you guys don't care. I like to get everything in high rarity. Um, not because like, I, I don't want to say it in a bad way. Like, I don't I don't look down on players at all. Uh, you know, if you can't afford high rarity stuff, you know, go for it. You know, you play the game that you like. I played a card game that I like, and I don't like having uh, the lowest of the lowest. I want to have the best of the best. Kind of like when you play... Um, you know, whatever video game you want and there's like skins available, you obviously want your favorite skin. So that's how I see it. Um, ooh, what else can we talk about? All right, let's start talking about the Battle of God stuff before I start talking about the binders. Um, this is actually a cube I got from Ultimate Guard. It has literally uh, quite a few high rarity decks in here. Uh, I have Light Sworn, you know, Max Rarity Light Sworn in here. Uh, I have Shadows. Uh, you know, basically all the shadow cards that you need. Uh, I like to keep all of my extra deck cards separate from, you know, the deck cores. So I have Mermels, Max Rarity Mermels in here. Um, mainly because it helps me identify a card. If like, let's say if Dante 
uh, is in here. Or, you know, I, I need Dante's. I'm not going to go to the Burning Abyss to get Dante's. I'm just going to go to the Extra Deck Binder and pull out Dante's. For, like, you know, if I'm playing it in a different deck. It just it lets me easily find it. Max Rarity Zodiacs. Uh, not like Zodiacs. Could be more Max Rarity. I mean, there's Ulti Whip Tails in there. Uh, Max Rarity Spellbooks. Uh, you know, all that other good stuff. I, I would assume, because I know myself, I haven't necessarily thought of the title. But as clickbaity as I'm going to say, it's over $100,000 worth of cards. Uh, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. I'm not sure if it's really over or under $100,000 worth of cards. Um, this actually is a whole bunch of cards for sale. Uh, yeah, I actually like, literally, I want to say I, I stopped selling Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but I still have a lot of stuff just literally for sale. Um, I think we can get into the deck cores. So I do have four or five binders for deck cores. And this is every time you guys see me do a deck profile, it's coming from my deck core binder. So in this binder, I have a uh, pendulum magician. I want to say everything is max rarity or OG print. Uh, you know, it, yeah, max rarity or OG print. We have metal foes. We have mythical beasts. I try to keep everything like together in a sense. So, you know, all the pendulum decks are on the first page because, you know, it makes it easier to do it. Uh, one thing I do want to address is that a lot of people like to ask me, Hey, Kelly Effect, when can you do X deck profile? And it's it's not like if I had the time, energy, and effort to do every deck profile you guys would want it and get an insane amount of views, I probably would. But people don't understand that when somebody asks for a deck profile, especially one I've never done, um, sometimes I do have it. Most of the time I do have it, but a, a lot of times I don't because of how many times you guys have asked me. That takes time, money, and effort. And like when I, I my response is normally like if you're a part of Patreon, blah blah blah. Like your ten dollars sometimes does nothing. Like somebody will ask me for a black wing deck profile, and like we did, I don't have black wings. Like that's I was I was shocked that I didn't have them, but I don't have it. So I have to go out and get all of the black wings. Ten dollars is not going to cover black wings at all, especially since um, you could say it's a little bit to my own volition because I don't play low rare or, you know, I don't, I really want it in high rarity. I want it in max rarity if anything, but you can also say $10 ain't going to do nothing for a black wing deck. That's lowest rarity. Um, and I do appreciate the people that do it, but it's like, y'all got to understand. You got to help me help you. Did I say that right? <laughs> help me help you. <laughs> Next is another deck core binder. Um, this actually has blue eyes, so I do try to keep everything that, that that's a good thing So when I build it and if it doesn't like it has a lot of success I keep it and you know, it lets me do it again uh, And there are quite a few people that ask me. Hey, is this for sale? No, <laughs> like think about it if I sold you that blue eyes core How am I going to well let, blue eyes is a terrible example because I have one for sale But if I sold you my elemental heroes, how would I show you another elemental hero deck profile? How? How? Like, how, Sway? Again, more empty slots because I probably took out some deck core and it's probably somewhere on my couch. I have a big couch. <laughs> uh, dinos, uh, Mech Knights, Altergeist. I think it's time for another question. Where my phone at? It's... Where, homie? Oh, my phone. We have Goki. We have uh, Sky Striker. Someone said, X, X, Secker said, what's your favorite cards that you own? All of them. I, I, like, well, that's another question that unfortunately I can't really answer because I do like all the cards that I keep personally for myself. I like them. Like, they're all my favorites. Like, I think that Yu-Gi-Oh! is a very interesting game. And so I keep all of the cards that I like. I wouldn't keep them if I didn't like them, right? I mean, yeah, I you point. so I, 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 you guys do post an interesting question. Like, what's my most favorite? I am so wishy-washy. I used to love Fire Fist. I used to love Shadows. I understand that I'm wishy-washy. Um, the reason why I don't have Black Wings is I'm pretty confident that I bought it and sold it and bought it and sold it so many freaking times. Because like, oh, I love this deck. Black Wings awesome. And then I turn around and like, fucking Black Wings suck. And I sell it. I stopped doing that. Uh, this, I got the danger. Watch yourself. And then we have Dark Worlds. Actually, I have to rebuy Dark Worlds. Um... Ellis Stockne says, when is this all going to collapse? Um, I assume once Trump gets full reign over the world, that's when it all collapses. That, just a guess. 
Uh, Matt Pari says, where is the meta analysis? That is not a binder collection question. Uh, cool B7 says, those are a lot of binders and deck boxes you got, but which ones are the best? I'm assuming he's trying to stake out so he can rob me. So if you're going to rob me, all them niggas is the best. And better hope that I don't wake up with my gun to shoot your ass, all right? <laughs> uh, Gennaro Gilzara says, what are your top five favorite decks of all? God, so I, all right, all right, all right. Um, because I really like this deck too. I like Fire Fist, Shadow, uh, True Draco, uh, Crusadia. I don't want to put them in there, but like they're fucking awesome. Ritual Beast. Is that good enough? God, guys, y'all asking all these questions. This is actually a deck that I hate, but I'm not going to get rid of it. I think this deck is trash, but. You don't like Light Sworn? Huh? Light Sworn? I love Light Sworn. I like Mermel. I like Burning Abyss. I I, I like no Zodiac. <laughs> I, I like it all. Like, that's a hard question for me to answer. This is like monsters that don't go into like a deck core, but are more like generic. Uh, Shat says, how many Moki Moki do you own? One, two, a million. I mean, I do have 150,000 cards, so a million's a plausible number, right? Uh, Black Luster Soldiers, some orgs, Light and Darkness. I actually want Secrets, but I just can't find anybody with Secrets. Chaos Soldiers. Pablo Mohuka says, got Garudas in here? Boom. Boom! Sows. That actually came up at the perfect time. Uh, Geardex says, how do you sort cards? Well, now I'm pretty sure you're pretty much invested into the video, so now you can see. Deck cores, monsters, spells, and traps, XE, Synchro, Fusion, Pendulum or X8 Synchro Fusion link. Um, and then my commons, they get sorted uh, by name, but fortunately we're gonna try to sort them by set, which is gonna take a lot more time, but it's gonna be a lot more rewarding when it comes into efforts of finding cards. Woo, we got some questions. These are my confessions. Uh, Yu Guan says extra deck collection binder. Okay, we'll get there. Uh, Dragon Master 2KA. Oh, shit. Hold on. He said, would you make a set folder? Have a folder for each set in the game, including OTS packs and Astro packs. Now, look. If you want to come over my house, because set folders just ain't going to work. That's just not going to work. But if you want to come over my house and sort these comments by set, my nigga, you, you would get on the Patreon for life. The King of Games one, the, the $10 tier. <laughs> but for life, for life. But you got to sort it all. No help from me. And it got to be sorted in the in in time frame. <laughs> all right. Uh, Scrub101 said Yu-Gi-Oh! Battle Royale. I don't know how that would work. Um, this is just cards that I really thought were cool. Uh, you know, just really old stuff or just really cool looking stuff that I had. Buster Blader used to be one of my favorite cards, which is another reason why this used to be one of my favorite cards, Last Warrior One on the Planet. Gilgarth used to be one of my favorite cards, which is why I just can't tell you why I have a favorite card. I am literally a Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, you'd be like, oh, I thought you was with him. Nah, nah. I'm with this card now. This is my card. <laughs> and then it all depends on the meta. Um, don't ask why I have so many copies of those. I actually just picked up another one. I don't, I don't know why. And this binder's empty. All right. This is my ultimate rares, maybe? Uh, John Sturgeon says, Do you have a Chaos deck, Chaos Dragon deck in there somewhere? Okay. So, I'm not going to show you all of them, but all this back here is Battle of the Gods decks. Like, what the hell is in here? Oh, I remember this. This is actually when um this is trash. But this is when I had to win that um that mat. I went to win the mat for the structure deck challenge or whatever, and you had to open a structure deck and play to win. I'll never do that again. But I do remember that. That was trash. But everything in here is a whole bunch of decks. Like here's Dragon Roller. Like all the Dragon Rollers. You guys see Dragon Roller often. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it says wind up agents and so on and so forth. Yes, I do have Chaos Dragon. You asked me for a deck list. Um, I 
think I answered that, you know, deck profile, deck list thing a long time ago, but um, it's kind of apparent, uh, not trying to be a dick or anything, but it is kind of apparent that, um, excuse me, none of these cards, or none of these are built into decks. They're built in the cores, and then I go into here and then finish the deck. But I probably would like to see a Battle of the Gods with Chaos Dragon, and I know you guys will love to see this. Now, this is my Ultimate Rare Binder. I had to pick it apart for, you know, certain cards that actually, like, became better relevant. I have all the Monarchs in Ultimate Rare. They're just not in there. Um, Thunder King Rare went to three. I remember having them in here, and then, you know, Ultimate Rare is my favorite rarity, in case anybody did ask. I'm not indecisive with my favorite rarity, unfortunately. Um... Where were we in comments? We've actually answered a good number of them. Someone says, what's my favorite vanilla monster? Or, I'm sorry, Nota Persona, Gene Warped Werewolf. I think I can answer that question pretty easily. Gene Warped Werewolf. At least that's the one that comes to mind. Cav Torino says, who gave you that me misprint dual terminal Trishula? So Cav, I know you, you my guy. But I don't talk to New York niggas, bro. Don't come at me with that New York accent, bro. I ain't even, hold on, I ain't even say it how we used to say it. How they say it? How them New York guys say it? Hey, my guy. Hey, son. What that, what that DT Trish be from, B? Oh, God. <laughs> I'll answer you, bro. Just say, on oh, my Tims. <laughs> on oh, my Tims, son. You better knock out of here. <laughs> uh, Karen Budhara says so many cards. That's not a question. These are all my synchros. Um, Low36 says yes. No. That's my response. Logan Cullen Gello says, where's my Blackwing collection? Okay. All right, nigga, I got you. See me in a week. See me in a week. See me in a week, nigga. You don't want to see me in a week. I think that's actually all of the questions right now. Uh, I, brought, I kind of blazed through the questions. I think that's good. Yeah. So yeah, these are all of my. I love my ghost rares. I love my ghost rares. Um, literally all of the dragons ghost rare. But um, yeah, as you guys can see, even more holes. G, any any card that you guys probably thought that I'm missing, it probably was in that hole. <laughs> and for the people that want to know what like sleeves I use, I use KMC Clear for my extra deck. Uh, right now at this current time. Because with sleeves, I'm a hoe too. As you guys can see, I have a backpack full of ultimate card sleeves and don't use them. But uh, currently, I use Dragon Shield. This is all GOAT format stuff. As you guys can see, it's picked apart because a lot of it got made into decks. So I can then turn around and play the Yu-Gi-Oh! With you guys. How many minutes are we in? We gotta be in like deep. Deeper well, than five time. minutes less. Left. Deeper than your sister dying and you telling your nieces. Uh... Fusions, uh, man, and I'm telling you, when I when I say this is worth a lot of money, at least I hope it is. It looked like it's worth a lot of money. Maybe it is a hundred thousand dollars worth of cards. If somebody offered me a house for these cards, I I wouldn't have no cards. <laughs> I'll be like, I would never do that. As I'm as I'm packing all my stuff up, I'd never do something so frivolous. Give up my business for a house? What do you think I am, a pleb? Then I, then I don't have uh, any more cards. I'm like, yeah, I'm a pleb. I'll play commons. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> yeah, but we have so many cards that you guys can see. And again, this is how I make my duels and stuff. This is how I make my videos. This is why uh, every time somebody like, hey, can you make this deck? And they actually like put in that Patreon or whatever. Like you guys helped make this. So I do appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. I really do. And if you guys want to be a part of the top dom, just no, no advertisements. No advertisements. All of the links. I don't think I have like any stories with links. Uh, you guys are like, how do you have all this? These, these are fake. These, these are fake. <laughs> uh, that's for like when they come out, when they get announced, and I have to like do it, but I don't have the cards. And a lot of the vendors are being jackasses because they have the cards and they want to sell them. Just not to me because I want to pay for them and I want them shipped that day with one day shipping. And I pay for one day shipping, but they, they don't like that. Or they be trying to sell at price. Bruh, I, somebody tried to sell me the Gladiator Beast Link. Five dollars. All right, so John Ewing, we actually have more questions. He asks, what do I do with my bulk common cards? My bulk common cards are actually some of the most important cards, if you ask me. 
they're separated in order than their bins. Normally they're separated by uh, alphabetical order. Now they're gonna be separated by set. Uh, Guffy said, my first ever deck build. I actually do have a first ever deck deal. This deck build, this is Battle of the Gods stuff, stuff that, you know, would have went to Battle of the Gods. Actually, as you guys can see, it's pretty barren because I just put it in regular stuff now. And since Battle of the Gods cards kind of apply to other things like GOAT format, it's pretty much empty because of that as well. It was, you guys could say it was like a filled binder experiment I was trying to do. Um... My first ever deck built was like a Celtic Guardian deck, a Celtic Guardian deck, and it revolved around Sword of Deep Seated to keep it a 1900 attack. And since Sword of Deep Seated went to the graveyard, it went back to the top of my deck, making another monster, hopefully Celtic Guardian or Beaver Warrior or Battle Ox, powerful. But uh, that didn't work out. Um, on to the next binder, we have uh, the Exe monsters, and uh, you know I, I kind of have a lot. Um, so the next question is Team Purified. Do I do trades with the stuff in my trade and sell binder? Yes, I do. I'm not necessarily looking for, if if it's not my wants, unfortunately, I really don't have an interest in trading, uh, but I do buy cards, I guess, still. I mean, it's still something that I do. I was gonna say do-do. <laughs> but yeah, this is all my Exceed stuff, all my Swagga McJagga stuff. Uh, Eli MHB, I actually see him comment a lot on my uh, YouTube channel. He says, no wonder, you out here oh out here i like him i like him already no wonder why you out here with depth profiles for days you wonder boy you wonder yeah like uh definitely the reason why i can't provide deck profiles basically on the spot and more often than not it's of a higher rarity now i actually got a really good question between my camera cooling down and um i started a new video i saw a question i can't find it Oh, uh, Delirious Director said, which card was the most difficult to get for you? Um, this was my old Spellbinder. I have a new Spellbinder because I had to put more cards in there. The most difficult card for me to get, uh, Dark Arm Dragon, I really don't have a story for it. The ultimate rare. And I traded, <laughs> crazy thing, I traded for my first secret rare, Dark, Dark Arm Dragon. Some guy wanted my Cyber Dragon, a 10 Cyber Dragon for his Dark Arm. And I'm like, are you sure? He was like, yeah. I was like, is there anything else? He was like, nah. I was like, shit, I ain't going to... Come on now. Um, but uh, the most hard, the hardest card for me to get was Rescue Cat. Super rare. Super rare Rescue Cats. Rescue Cat is one of my favorite cards. Again, here we go again, me hoeing. Um, and it took me a while. I was literally trying to find them for, like, ever since they came out. I've been trying to get Rescue Cats. And I think it was like 10 years ago. I've been trying to get them for 10 years. I just got them this year. I just said, fuck it, and bought them before they skyrocketed in price. I got all three. I uh, bought one a couple years ago for $10, and then I bought the other two for 30 So I paid, you know, uh, uh, 40 bucks for a card that's like 50 each or something like that. These are all the traps. Uh, the Fiendish Chains were actually in the Firefist deck. And uh, yeah, that's basically, I think that's actually it for questions now. We do get questions here and there. Uh, so let me give them all hearts so I can know that I did it. Uh, this is my only super rare bottomless trap hole. I'm kind of upset with that, uh, especially since it's at three now, but I'm not going to lie. I was pretty happy when I got it and you know, I only needed one, but, uh, fortunately for me, bottomless trap hole has not been relevant in quite some time. So, you know, these are all the trap cards that I normally use for decks. Um, whether it's deck profiles or whatever. As you guys can see, the trap cards are kind of awkward. You know what I mean? Like, it's an interesting array of trap cards that I use. Uh, a lot of them don't get used, but, you know, it's better to have them than, than you know, need them and not have them. So, uh, yeah, that's it for that. Woo! I think I still have so much more to show you guys. This is insane. This is all of my spells. All the spells that I keep readily available. There's a third one sitting somewhere in my couch. Um, just going through all this stuff. I love the zero print desires. If anybody does ask, my favorite uh, version of a card is not English, or it is English. I do not like foreign cards, but I do like zero print cards. So this one is foreign, but it's zero print. So it's like I forgive it. I love zero print cards, and if a card is English in zero print, I kind of drool over it. Like I, I kind of want it, just a little bit. But yeah, this is basically all of the spells that get readily used. And as you guys can see, a lot of it is in a pretty good rarity. Again, I like to pride myself in 
having really nice things. Really nice things. Um, Bird, do you have any questions? No. I got a question. What is it? Are they open? It's what open. Your butt cheeks! <laughs> got them! Got them, them butt cheeks wide open, boys! That's funny. <laughs> So this is the side deck binder. Uh, a lot of it comes like, you know, hand traps and all that. I immediately put them in the side deck binder because not everyone is like a must go to main deck. Yes, those are ultimate rare maxis. Crazy funny story about these ultimate rare maxis. I have like eight effect veilers that are ultimate rare, but crazy story. I did not want these. I did not want them at all. I Somebody like literally begged me to buy them off of him. And it's because he didn't want them even more. So we played a game of chicken. Who wanted them less? And I wound up getting all three for 45. And then the next day, they jumped up to 100s or whatever. And, um, yeah. Me and them don't talk anymore. I don't know why. I mean, shit, we was playing a game of who wanted them less. I just happened to want them less enough to get them for an stupidly insane price. And then uh, a, a guy, Jacob Caps, my guy, he actually was going to buy them. I do remember because I bought them to sell to Jacob. And he didn't buy them. And I was pissed. I was pissed because they were like, if I remember correctly, they were like 30. So I was going to sell them to him for 90. I bought them for 45 or I probably was going to sell them to him for 70. I don't remember the exact price, but he didn't buy them. And I was pissed. But boy, <laughs> was I not pissed when they went up to 100 and to 150. And then that card's weird. So that's all the cards that I do use for side deck purposes. Um, when I go to an event, if I actually do get to play, whether it's local, regional, whatever, uh, you know, I build the deck out of all of this. As you guys can see, I have a pretty good pool. This is my max rarity gravekeepers that just kind of like fall out of the thing and get close to get destroyed. I think this is more deck cores. These are like the pleb tier decks. Uh, you know, more of. There's where the Bougians were. There's TG. There is Fire Fire King. Black Cluster Soldier. I've been trying to make... All right, <laughs> quick story. So this was a couple years ago. I like made a dope black luster soldier deck profile and i was so excited to put it i have a story about that too i was so excited to put it up on youtube and then samurai x1 is that, is that his name samurai whatever he put his up on youtube and it like just discouraged me to put mine up it was like fuck if i do it because our deck was literally card for card and i saw it and i was like no because you know nobody nobody puts black luster soldiers you know, black luster, a black luster soldier deck. So when he put it up, I was I was really curious. So I clicked on the video and then I was like, fuck, this is almost, almost, not really actually. If I remember correctly, it wasn't card for card, but it was like the same concept. And I was like, ah, now I just put up deck profiles and I don't really care who has them out. I don't care if I'm late. I don't care if I'm early. I don't watch nobody. So I just throw them over up there. Um, this Constellar Core, I got for $5. Flighty's included. This was 2014, 2013, whenever Worlds was. I traded this Constellar Core for the Max Rarity Spellbook Core that I have. Again, he really wanted Constellars. Then he quit Yu-Gi-Oh! at the end of the Constellar format or whatever. I bought it all from him for $20. He didn't want to buy Yu-Gi-Oh! no more. To be honest, that's where a lot of my, like, people just... I don't know. The next is the engines. This is actually um, what I use to complement certain decks. Uh, cards that literally go in every... Or, you know, that go in multiple strategies. Don't necessarily bind themselves to one strategy. Uh, so, like, the Wind Witches, they're not necessarily a strategy themselves. But they don't, you know, bind to one particular strategy. So, they stay in here. A lot of engines in here that got taken out. Uh, some of them became deck cores. Um, some of them didn't. Super Lone Fire Blossoms. I bought these before they spiked up. Like, literally... I want to say the day of, I made the Forbidden List video, I saw Lone Fire Blossoms went up, or Lone Fire Blossoms came out the list of three, all three super rares, and then my wife spilled juice all over them. Uh, this is two Ultimate Rare First Glow Bulbs. Uh, I traded my original Ultimate First Glow Bulb for my Arclor Christia that I have, and then Glow Bulb got banned, so I was pretty happy, and I stocked up on a couple of Ultimate Rare Glow Bulbs, and then it came off the list, and now it's like more expensive than ever, and like, dude. <laughs> yeah, so basically just a lot of cores. Um, I do take pride in a lot of my all my cards. Proceeds to throw the cards on the floor. <laughs> and I, I really like it. I, I love having this many cards. I love having access um, to whatever I want to play. And if I were to ever sell my collection, 
I would probably... I, it's hard to say I quit because I've never been in a position to actually quit. But if I were to sell my collection, I just probably wouldn't play Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore. Just because it's, it's... Growing up, I've always had the problem of, oh man, I always wanted this card or this card when it, you know... And, you know, I've wanted it for so long. Now I'm in that position to have almost every single card I've ever wanted. So to lose it again is like... I don't know, man. These are just a whole bunch of other cards that I like. I have Movie Pack, Obelisk, Tormentor. Uh, stuff like that. Just literally cards I just like. So they might not, you know, have any rarity or any value to them. Um, I would like to say that there's stories behind these cards. But a lot of them there aren't. Other than I really, really liked the card at the time I was getting it. Like, Gemini Isles... For a while, it was my favorite card. So was Slate Warrior. So was Force Raider. Those 1900 beaters were too strong, man. Too strong. Should make another YouTube channel called 1900 Beater. Do not entice me to do that. Um, there's a whole bunch of cards that I like. Uh, like, again, this is one of my favorite cards, too. And, cool. of course, one of my favorite monsters. You have a lot of last, last day of the week. Stop looking at those cards! How many do I have? Go, go again. Fuck, right man. There. Fuck. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I don't like no witches. <laughs> Dang, maybe I've been trying to get away from you. Hold on, does it work? Let me see if it works. Be gone! Be gone! <laughs> it don't work. <laughs> it don't work, I'm still here. <laughs> Y'all go away. You're that shit don't work, bro. Supposed to click your heels. Oh, shit. Uh, Say no place like There's that. no place like... I want to be a Yu-Gi-Oh! Grandmaster! That didn't work either? <laughs> okay. There's no place like I want a house, a car. What? <laughs> they, they said whoa, no. whoa, whoa! Language lady! She's white too. I'm in love with a white girl. <laughs> She's not white. <laughs> I'm just trying to get you killed. <laughs> oh man. Oh, uh, just more of my favorite cards again. And I apologize if you guys think that this has been a little too vulgar. Uh, no, no, good. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Guardian Order is another one of my favorite cards. So, yeah. You know what the word favorite means? Bro, no, I'm a hoe. You, you know what? When I first saw Yu-Gi-Oh, I thought it was Yu-Gi-Oh, and I signed up twice. <laughs> like, <laughs> literally. The next binder is literally just spell, spell, ultimate rares, extras, spares, got more bears, got more fuselers. Bear is actually one of, fuseler is two. <laughs> uh, so is spiral spear serpent, spiral serpent. I just, I don't know. Somebody dared me to make a deck, a competitive deck of it. That's before like it got support or whatever. And um, yeah, it, it didn't work out. More Caius's, more Rises. I bought these for like 15 each. Um, Maybe a couple of years ago. I never had ulti Kaisers until like they were long dead. And then the guy was getting rid of them for stupid cheap. And then, you know, more banishers of the Radiance. Because that is one of my... F yeah. I just, I'm just going to stop saying that. So I think I'm going to wrap up this video with two more things. I would love to show you every single one of my cards. But that's just literally impossible. Again, I have so many deck cores back here that are... Battle of the Gods worthy, such as Windups, Dragon Rollers, and Sectors, Infernity, so on and so more. Uh, these binders are actually filled with cards in themselves. Uh, a lot of them are from, or some of them are from collections that I bought. You know, the binders, I just shove them back there. I'm like, oh, I'll take all the good cards out later and I never get to it. Others actually have uh, use to it. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a couple of other deck core binders. Like, I have Magical Musketeers and a whole bunch of other shit somewhere. Let me just see if I can find it. Is this it? Yep. Yeah. Magical Musketeers, Madolche, Gem Knights, Max Rarity, Time Lords, Dark Lords, and then a whole bunch of random cards in the back. That's probably why I didn't do it. This is probably one of my most favorite binders in... Oh, I do have a favorite binder. This is it. And this is why. It's my Ghost Rare collection. But it also is my signed collection. This is signed by Yusei, signed by Erica Schroeder, you know, my Valentine, the person that played my Valentine in the Kiza. Um, Harpy Lady, signed by her. Harpy's Feather Dusters. Black Rose Dragon signed by her. Another Ghost Rare, Ghost Rare Black Rose Dragon. Rescue Rabbit signed by a good friend of mine. Um, Ghost Rare cards, Delta Rose, Felgrand, stuff like that. Uh, I, I enjoy this binder just because it has all the signatures. And I probably need to get more signatures of my friends on cards. So um, that's signed by somebody. I, I don't even know why that's in there.
Oh, you got any cards? Look up me eating Slifer the Sky Dragon when it was just a jump promo. Look up me eating Draco Sack when it was $150. Yeah, we eat cards up in this bitch, man. That card served this purpose. Whoever that person is. All right, I just ate it just, just, for, just, for, just for attention. I need attention. So the last thing I'm going to show you guys, not this first sale box, even though I do have a lot of stuff in here. It's by your foot. By my foot? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a lot of other cool cards that I thought, thought was cool. Building a deck or uh, a lot of times when I like build a deck or whatever, <laughs> instead of putting it back, I throw it in this box so I don't like mixing it up with other stuff and it get lost. But, you know, still like that. So the Neospatians, another Ash Blossom, stuff like that. This Ash Blossom is actually, I forget it. Uh, more Trick Stars. These are actually Justin's. That little guy, he likes to leave his deck cores over at my house. I don't know why. Uh, maybe he wants me to keep them. Um, just, you know, just random cards. Like, I don't think you're going to find anything too expensive in here or, <gasps> excuse me, too out of the ordinary. You're not going to, like, you found a La Jin in here. That's um, interesting. I, I like La Jin. It's one of my... It's a great card. Um, magical hats, you know, stuff like that. Uh, a lot of dual terminal cards. I love dual terminal cards. Dual terminal cards are awesome. Um, you know, stuff that should be in the binder. Like I said, go faster. Three minutes. This is going to take less than three minutes. Um, I mean, I'm just showing this. It ain't nothing in here. We can kind of speed through it. Uh, Dark Arm Dragons, True Draco Heritages. More stuff, more stuff, more stuff. Literally, I'm telling you guys, this, this is nothing of importance. This card is actually really cool. It was uh, mine. I gave it to a friend. He quit. Took it back from him. Indian giver. Um, oh, my God. There's my tour guides. <gasps> Boy. Yeah, I have like six tour guides that are ultimate rare. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I love tour guide. And then, you know, it's more cards, more is cards. Is your favorite card, too? What, tour guide? Yeah. No, I actually don't have a... I, I feel indifferent for tour guide. I don't like it or dislike it. I just have a lot of it. I think a friend really wanted it, so I hoarded it just to mess with him. But that's what you do to friends, right? There's uh, so many cards in here, but I think we're going to wrap it up with that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys appreciated the thousand, $100,000 collection. There are so many cards, and possibly I'll be able to show you in a more structured format inside of our next Holy Grail. Please like, comment, subscribe, but most of all, enjoy. I hope you guys are having a great day like I am. Let's see what you guys have or your favorite part about this collection.